In His Shadow by Man Kinney, Chapter 22, A New Dawn for Hogwarts, Draco's Point of View. Blaze had gathered a decent group of people when I arrived, with Snape and Neville. The latter sat down near Luna, while Professor stayed close to me in front of the whole group. I saw many Slytherins, some Hufflepuffs, and Ravenclaws. I even noticed some red and gold ties in the room. They all seemed a bit uneasy about what was going to happen. I coughed and began speaking at the group. <clears throat> you might have noticed that Dumbledore is getting worse, and worse with every day. A part of us can't really choose their classes anymore, because they are too dangerous. Some of us can't even leave our room alone, scared of being pulled into a dark corner. They are forced to act as if they are slaves. If we were talking about alphas or betas, Dumbledore and his order would have started screaming about human rights and equality. But we are talking about the Omegas in our community. Our headmaster encourages the mistreatment and abuse against Omegas. And we need to change. If not, then this war that is in some of our parents and friends are fighting for is nothing. The situation won't change. We need to change this school, starting with ourselves. We play the role of obedience for long enough. I think it's time for a rebellion. We stood in his shadow for too long, and if we, he can't wake up and realize his wrongdoings, we're going to fight. When I stopped my speech, the room was silent. Nobody had said anything, not even Snape. I didn't know what to, to do to break this uncomfortable silence. People looked at each other, unsure what to do, and a sudden fear overcome me. What if people didn't agree with me? What if I was the only one thinking this way? Jaco... But what are you planning on doing? A small female voice said. Luna was looking at me with her innocent eyes, expecting an answer. I was dumbfounded for a moment before I replied. Well, we won't make you kneel next to us in class. We are going to teach you to fend spells, hiding charms, and other ways of magic. Dumbledore was trying to keep away from you. We're not going to let Omegas be humiliated and punished for no reason. And if we all end in detention together. She nodded, happily clinging to her alpha. It seemed she had encouraged others to talk now because several hands went up into the air. And what about alpha beta relationships? A boy in the back asked. I did not know what he meant by that. I don't know if they were being discriminated to. Alpha beta couples are normal couples. Even though Professor Dumbledore is slowly trying to destroy them and hopes for them going into Alpha Omega and Beta Beta relationships, do not listen to this senile old fool. Just be a normal couple, and if certain professors try to give you discrimination for no reason, I am sure you will have to scrub cauldrons that day with me, Snape answered. Do you really think we can work this out behind Dumbledore's back? I mean, he has ears everywhere in the school. I Hufflepuff asked. I sighed and tried to come up with an answer, but Snape was faster than me. The headmaster is busy with coordinating his own group. He is often absent from the school for many days at once. He won't notice anything or take us too seriously, as he believes us to be a bit retarded and useless. But what do we want to do to train? There's no room that Dumbledore doesn't know about. Log on. Don't you remember the rumor requirements from Dumbledore's army? As long as nobody reveals the room, we're safe there. And I'm sure that if the headmaster wants to press information out of us, Professor Snape will forget some of his skills in brewing Verda Serum. Luna answered, looking at the potions master innocently, fluttering her big eyes, while he just gave her a quick nod. Now that this is all taken care of, we will meet on Sunday in the room of requirements for training. If you have any trustworthy friends, then bring them with you. We need as many people as possible. I instructed, ready to leave everyone alone to their own devices. But what are we going to call our movement? Neville asked suddenly, putting all the attention on him. 
That's a good question, Neville. I will answer that on Sunday. Now, we should all leave before a certain someone might have suspicion of what we're doing here. The next days were fantastic. Even though the situation was aggressive, as Dumbledore gave us detention himself, and I had to basically fight with each and every Gryffindor at Hogwarts, the other students seemed to calm down and enjoy going to school more. Our Megan's group together and went from class to class together, snapping back at Alphas, while Alphas declared their honest love for their partners, kissing openly, and stopping acting as if their brains had been burned out. Betas came out of their hiding and were openly displaying their status, characteristics, and personalities. Hopefully, the Order of Flaming Chickens isn't going to fuck this up. End of chapter 22